Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So, uh, our next uh, uh, module is cartridge. Next is like the cartridges. Uh, so, this terminology is uh, whoever worked on e-commerce and different uh, uh, technology would have heard as a cartridge or uh, it's like a folder, nothing but a folder, okay. Here they are saying it as a cartridges, okay? Okay, what is cartridge? Okay, card contains directory specific to the functionality. There will be different functionality, right? So as you know about e-commerce, we having checkout functionality, we will be having home page, and we will be having PDP, PLT. So specific to those functionalities, they will be having other specific card directories. Those directories are called as a cartridges, nothing but. It's like a folder, okay, in code. Uh, in SFRA, cartridges are designed for the modularity and re reusability. Previously, as we have STJC architecture, it is not much reusable, uh, not uh, having much reusability. But here in SFRA, cartridges are designed like mostly it's like a reusability. This one you will understand when you are understanding about the core functionality of SFRA. So just for now, you need to know SFRA cartridges are designed for modularity and reusability, okay? And then your custom site code, uh, your custom site code means uh, SFCC, as I said, it's a SAS based solution. They'll be providing the default code, but something you need to, uh, with the default code, you cannot uh, go live. So SFCC is at this uh, Salesforce won't allow you. So you have to do the customization specific to your site. Okay, so uh, for that customization site, you need to create a cartridge and you need to work on that. So that is, uh, we will see what is a custom site code. And then like third party integrations, whatever the third party integrations, uh, like I sometime before I said, uh, example ratings and reviews and other stuff, right? In SFCC standpoint, like third parties, for example, uh, turn two is one of the third party integration for ratings and review. So what they will do, they will be having their own cartridge, okay, that is certified from Salesforce and it is available on the Salesforce marketplace and you can go there and download or a few uh, integrations will be available open to you or few integrations like you need to go and check with a particular vendor, you need to contact their sales team and you need to download that third party integration. That third party integrations comes with the same uh, same structure of this SFRA cartridge. That is what I mean to say here. Okay. Uh, so this is also called as cartridge and that cartridge will be added uh, into your code path. Okay. Uh, if possible, I will show you one or maybe from my previous project, I can show you later. Okay. For now, you just understand there is a third party is also called as a cartridge will be available into your coding area. Okay. Link cartridge. Link cartridge is like a few links are they are provided from SFCC out of the box implementation. Those cartridges will also be available and you can able to see that and they are also having the same structure. I am telling structure, structure, uh, nothing but this is the structure. See here, app underscore storefront underscore base. It's a base cartridge, okay. Here you can see the read the name, storefront reference architecture. I am saying that SFRA, SFRA, right? SFRA abbreviation is nothing but storefront reference architecture. Previously, I said one more architecture, right? Which is not that much reusability. That is STJC. That is Salesforce, uh, like a JavaScript, okay? That is like SFCC Salesforce, a uh, JavaScript architecture. This is a reference architecture. It is, so it is, uh, you need to understand this name and abbreviation. Here, if you see, this is the base cartridge and in, uh, this is given by the Salesforce. As I said, they will be providing one base cartridge, right? This is that structure of the base base cartridge. So, in, uh, here, they will be giving the folder name as cartridge. Inside that cartridge only, they will be having a client, ca client cartridge 
configuration cartridge, control cartridge, form, model, script, like that multiple. These are the set they will be providing. So I will try to explain you each and everything now on this cartridge path. Uh, if possible you get it, else uh, we will be seeing in the demo part. Okay. This client cartridge is nothing but your, you will be using Ajax calls and you will be using the client JS code, right? You, you will be writing mainly on the e-commerce perspective. If you need to do something on click and then you, you need to do something uh, on mouse over, those things are written over here in the client cartridge. And a few configurations available specific to the cartridges and specific to the storefront, those things will be available inside this config. Okay, just you need to understand the names. At least now you need to know these are the names are available. Okay, controller. Controller, I, I, later part we'll be seeing MVC patterns and everything. For now you need to understand controller. Okay, the controller is also one of the cartridge plays the ma major role on routes. Okay, I will tell you later what is routes and uh, and these things like if you are going to click on home page uh, once you are trying to type the URL and hitting the enter button it is directly it comes to the controller okay the controller which page you are calling it will be coming to the controller okay so you, for now you understood there is a controller cartridge and forms so uh, you guys know right in e-commerce will be there are more forms like uh, login page we will be having a form and then for checkout we will be having a form for uh, feedback you will be having a form there are a number of forms available okay those forms and are uh, coded into this cartridge part cartridge is nothing but again it's it's a folder okay uh, it will be coded only on this area you should not have any form code over here into the controller or into the configuration it won't work so their core functionality will search if, if anything like as I said when you are hitting some URL it will be directly coming to the controller right they are, they are designed uh, like that so if you are hitting a home page it will be going to a home page controller if you are writing the controller into some config or client it won't uh, be able to find your home page and it will throw error so each and every uh, cartridges are specific to an functionality as I said here, yeah, like specific to the functionality, so you have to write your own code in the same cartridge, not on the other one. Okay, there are like models to simplify your SFRA and reusability. They are like models. They are having some folder called models. Inside that, you can see like product model, uh, availability model. Those models are available. So those uh, code, if you are trying to extend something specific to the base cartridge, so what I am saying is you, you want to write code by customizing your site code, right? This is the base. So to extend this one, you need to prepare all this. I will I will tell you how, how you need to do. You need to prepare all this um, uh, structure and then you have to do it. Okay? And then scripts. There is some scripts. Uh, JavaScript code will be written over here. And statics. Static is nothing but if you are having any image icon, you can able to add it from the code. Okay, that static uh, part is available. And templates. Templates is nothing but you, you guys will be knowing HTML, right? So HTML here they are calling as ISML. Okay, here they are calling it as ISML, not HTML, because they are doing their own uh, modifications into the HTML. And they are saying that it as an ISML. So those ISMLs are, you for now you can understand it's like HTML. Those HTML parts are written only on the templates, not on any other folders. So this is for ISML part and this is for static script. So each and every functionality is available over here. This is called cartridge. So if you open this, it will be available. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.